Hello everybody, welcome to Cautopia. Front-end developers are in high demand right now. According to the website Paisa, the average salary for a front-end developer in the United States is 107k a year. Furthermore, the website Indeed.com states that the demand for front-end developers is growing at a rate of 29% annually. So congrats on taking the first step towards learning this amazing field. But most self-taught programmers fail and the number one reason they do is the lack of a clear plan that they can follow. This field can be overwhelming at first. There are countless frameworks, tools and languages that you can learn, you can get lost quickly and not make any progress. But don't worry, in this video I will present to you a clear step-by-step -step guide you can follow to become a front-end developer and get your first job. So let's get started. First of all, let's see what is front-end web development. Front-end web development refers to the process of creating the visual and interactive elements of a website or web application. This includes the design, layout, and user experience of a website. Every website has server side and client side. The server side is where the database can be found and the API and all of the things related to server. And the client side is what the user sees. The client side contains the UI, the user interface, what the user sees. And the front end development focuses on the part where the client interacts with. Why should you choose the front end and not the back end, which is the client side? Front end development has more jobs than back end because not every company will have a back end, but every company will have a front end if you're interested about freelancing then front end is your best choice because front end is the most popular field in the freelancing world in development of course also the front end is easier to learn for beginners because all the changes are reflected on the screen so you can see them and also at least in my opinion it's really really fun front end development is really fun if you put your mind to it and you start to understand it you'll see how fun it is to make user interfaces i really like doing it i hope you do too step one learn the basics of html5 so you need to learn all the basic tags basic document structure forms links tables etc html is really simple it's not a programming language it's a markup language html stands for hypertext markup language it is used to define the structure of our web application. You only need the basics of HTML and then you can move on to step number two, learning CSS. CSS stands for cascading style sheets. CSS is used to style our web application. You'll need to learn internal versus external CSS. Internal is when we write the styling inside the HTML document External is when we create a separate CSS file and link it to, uh, to our HTML document. You'll need to learn the selectors, classes versus IDs, the box model, positioning, sizing, flexbox and grid. And also you can learn SAS. It's a CSS preprocessor. It makes working with CSS a little bit easier. CSS is a little bit more complicated than HTML. It's not hard, but it has so many things that you need to learn and mastering CSS takes time. After learning HTML and CSS, you can start building static websites and simple landing pages. Step number three, learning Tailwind CSS. It's a CSS framework. So instead of writing your CSS from scratch, you can use Tailwind CSS, which has classes you can add to your document so you can style your document without writing any line of CSS. It is easy to learn and it will save you a lot of time. All you need to do is look at the documentation and figure out the different classes and what they do. Step number four, master JavaScript. This is the most important step. You can't learn any JavaScript framework before really understanding JavaScript. This is really important because so many people will start learning a JavaScript framework without really understanding JavaScript. 
and that will make your learning process so much harder. You'll need to learn basic programming principles, variables, data types, loops, functions, and then you need to learn the DOM, document object model, which allows us to manipulate our elements in the HTML using JavaScript. And that will make our applications interactive. Then you need to learn asynchronous JavaScript, sending requests to APIs and fetching data. After really understanding JavaScript, you'll need to make at least two projects. For example, a to-do app, a workout tracker, or any project that is interesting to you. This will help you understand the logic behind JavaScript and it will make it really easy for you to learn a JavaScript framework. I would suggest also that you do some coding challenges in lead code or code words. This way you can improve your problem solving skills and build the programming logic that you need to build applications. This will really, really help you to become a good developer. And then, after becoming really good at JavaScript, you can start learning a JavaScript framework. Step 5. Learn the basics of Git and GitHub. Git is a free and open source version control system. It's so easy to learn, it's beginner friendly. You only need to know the basic Git workflow and Git operations and you'll be set. And you also need to learn how to use GitHub. It's the online resume that will contain all your projects. All the employers now require you to have a GitHub account. Step number six. Finally, now you can start learning React. React is a JavaScript library developed by Facebook that will make it really easy for you to develop high performance user interfaces. You'll need to learn about components, state, events, how to style your React apps, hooks, all the basic hooks, for example, use effect, use ref, use memo, etc. You'll need to learn about the context API that will help you manage the state of your application. And then you can learn Redux, which is a more complex state management system, but it will make it so much easier to manage state on bigger applications. You'll need to learn about the React router. Also, you need to learn about authentication and of course testing. Really understanding React and how to use it will level up your front-end development skills. It is so important nowadays and necessary that you know some kind of front-end development framework so you can get hired. And the best option you have is React. It is the most popular and the best in my opinion. Another tool that will make it easier to work with React and JavaScript is TypeScript. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript. It really helps with preventing stupid bugs and catching them early on. In development, you'll need to learn about how to use types, object types, array types, tuples, enums, union types and literal types function types and how to use TypeScript with React. TypeScript is so popular and a lot of companies require that you have at least some knowledge of TypeScript. After learning TypeScript, you can then move on to step number eight, which is learning Material UI. Material UI is a library that allows us to import components and use them in our React application. It is really, really useful. You'll need to learn about material UI button, checkbox, text field, themes, typography, containers and grids, responsive design. And that's it. If you learn all the topics that I showed you here, you'll have a good foundation and you'll find it easy to find a front-end development job. But the most important thing is that you do a lot of projects. You can't just tell an employer that you know something. You'll have to show them that you know it. And how you show an employer that you know something? You show them your projects. So it is really, really, really crucial that you build a lot of projects. Every topic that you learn, you have to build at least two or three projects using it. I can't stress that enough. 
it will make it so much easier to get your first job. Now let's discuss resources. The best resource I can give you is YouTube videos. Trust me when I say everything you want to learn is somewhere on YouTube for free. These are some amazing channels that will help you learn any topic that we discussed earlier. Traversy Media, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, web development channel on YouTube. Web Dev Simplified, DevEd, Free Code Camp. The second resource is Udemy Paid Courses. Udemy is a really good platform. It has so many good courses about HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React. You can find a good course about any topic that we discussed. You also have free websites like freecodecamp.org or Udemy free courses. Now we have paid websites. Examples, Coursera, CodeGym, Code Academy. These are some amazing websites and they can help you learn faster. You can learn from ofi the official documentation. Most of the technologies have very good documentation that explains well all the concepts and the basics of how to use that technology. You can also learn from books. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll meet soon in the next video.